Hey man, welcome back to Man Time. Today's episode, we're going to be trying to fix this uh, brake band and brake. <laughs> Should be a good episode. Welcome to Man Time. Alright guys, I'm trying to uh, get my 281 up to 100% functionality and this is the only thing standing between me and glory. Uh, so the brake band is, is completely gone on this one. And uh, I had an aftermarket uh, 272 brake band <laughs> that was laying around. Apparently uh, a 272 brake isn't going to work on a 281. I don't know if it's the the size, I mean, it, it actually bolted up, so it's kind of weird, but nonetheless, uh, it is not going to work, obviously. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me, huh? All right, so let's get on the bench and start taking this thing apart. Um, there's two things that are broken on it. Uh, one, there's a little spring clip up here, which is supposed to, you know, give it that spring, right? So I'm going to try to steal one off of this one and put it on this one, and then I've got a new brake band to uh, to put on it. So uh, let's get after it. First on these, um, there are actually two press nuts on either side of it. So that's going to be kind of the most difficult thing I see here, getting this you know, all apart and everything. And I've actually got, you know what, before we get too far into it here, I've got a uh, I've got a replacement. This one's going to be a saber sprocket with a new bearing and, and stuff on it there. But just to check, yeah. See that's that's really tight in there. I think that's probably why when I set the brake, it was it was probably actually rubbing on this before it ended up going. And here, yeah, it's still pretty tight in there, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I got a new uh, brake band for it, OEM brake band. Didn't want to uh, cheap out with that one, but there's some screws around in here. There's a pin here, and then there's, like I said, those press nuts uh, to get this off of there. We'll try it first on this one, the aftermarket version. Let's see if we can't uh, make some headway there. All right, so we got our screw out. We've got this pin here. Yeah, there goes that. Um, so to get those out, I think I'm going to have to come in with a really small punch and get down behind in there. And you could probably, yeah, maybe use something like an Allen with something, but there's, I'll, I'll show you the nuts when we get them out of here. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of set that up against something semi-rigid here. There we go. So yeah, it's got these nuts uh, that have a, um, I don't know, bit of a, uh, a pattern on it there. And that is what, it actually seats into the, the metal on the body of this thing. And then on this one, same thing. You know what I could do here? I could screw in the screw. Nope, that's not how that works. These threads are on the other side. But you see how I'm doing this, just get on. That was that was pretty easy, and then this side here it doesn't have the um, kind of teeth on it there. They're knurling. I guess it's a knurled end, so that one doesn't have it. So on this one, all I really want to do is is get this piece out of there to put onto that one. So let's grab another punch. It's maybe a little bit more size appropriate. There we go. 
So that thing there, that one's broke on this one. So I think I've got all the pieces. Yeah, see, there's the other half of that one. So I've got all the pieces off of that one. I may grab the little wear plate there too. Let's see if we can get see if we can get this one to the same state. Now we can go to replacing that little spring. Hopefully this aftermarket one is going to do a decent job. Yeah, so that's just, well, it doesn't stay in there, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's get this piece off of there with these Phillips headed screws. And go from there. Here's where it gets tricky. Um, so I got this plate removed off of there. There's this little cam lever, you know, here that sets the, you know, sets the brake and everything. So right now it is pulled, I think, out to where it's got the brake set. But either way, the way this is configured here, um, I, I have to relieve the spring tension, right? It's got... It's got this piece that's going to need to wrap up and around here. So I've got to relieve the spring tension and get this old piece off of there and then get this on there. All right, looks like I'm dealing with the right part here. So, um, for this, I recommend probably wearing safety glasses, but We can just do it like that. Grab a flathead, get it down in there, and get that off of there. Now it's got a pin keeping this part of the linkage on there. Um, I don't know if that is going to be required to come off of there. Or not. It looks like it probably is because there's a Phillips head up here which I don't think I can get off unless this piece is off of there. So, um, what if we can pop that pin out of there? Let's try it. Look at there, classic snap-on, bent up, beat around. Let's see if we can get this thing to move. It looks like it was moving back. So maybe coming in through the front here, we'll get it. Yeah, it's moving. Off there so push the pin out just enough to get this assembly out of there and if you can't tell this is not my full-time job making YouTube videos or working on chainsaws both of those things I feel like I'm pretty bad at them but I mean you know some people enjoy the content the content really isn't about fixing stuff it's about the process to determine how to fix stuff and if you know how to develop a good process then you can pretty much fix anything because like I said I I've never done this before but the process is the same when you're working on anything you don't know how to work on you've got to come up with a plan and an order of operations to be holding this thing in your hand and that's just identifying like which nuts and bolts and fasteners need to come out so you can do that. So I hope that's what you're gaining from watching these videos. Not so much that I'm showing you the exact way how to do things, more so I'm showing you how to do anything, which is the process that I use, you know, to fix whatever's broken. So. Um, from here, it looks pretty simple. Just uh, Phillips head. 
and we'll see if we can get this new brake band on here. Looks like it's like replacing your windshield wipers, kind of. Just kind of feed it. Oh, there we go. Okay, that was super easy. You see how I did that? <laughs> it is a lot like replacing your windshield wipers. Just clicks on like that and then rotates around and Bob's your uncle. Okay, um, what do we got next? I guess we can put that spring on there. I'm going to try to go back with that the same way as it came off of there. So, we'll see. You know what, before I do that, this is all looking pretty good here. Oh, it's lining up lining up in there. I, I want to get this piece off of it um, before I go too far here. It's finally winter down here in Texas, so that's great. Got to actually wear a jacket and whatnot. Okay. Well, yeah, that's just a roll pin. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let me blow this out, and then we'll go back to getting it all put back together. All right. I got the uh, I got the front side of it started here, and then I'm just gonna take a punch and kind of hammer it down the rest of the way. Okay. That all looks good. See if we can get this back in here. A little something like that. Make sure it's lined up. There we go. Okay, um, so now I want it as far forward as it'll go before we try to put that spring on here. And the trick for getting the spring in there is I have no idea. Well, I think I've got at least some amount of an idea, right? So springs here, I'm just going to put a, um, what the, oh, I guess you just slide it on in there. <laughs> but now, okay, so it's in there, but it's not, so I've got to push this down a lot to get that to go, like, actually in there. See, it's... You know, let's take the spring back off and then push this down. There. Now is it just, yeah, it's just going to come up like that. Okay, so the brake is set there. So to unset the brake, I wonder if I can do it with the handle. It's, it, they couldn't have designed this that smart. Where this rotates forward, you just put the spring in there, and now I'm able to set it, you know, with this. There's just no way, right? The question is, how does... Does that go in between there? blow this out. Man, if they had that level of engineering back then, I'm just going to be blown away. Alright, let, 
me tinker with this a little bit till I figure it out. All right, I did figure out it. It is actually that easy. Um, you have to get this on there, and then when you actually get it back, it opens up and compresses that spring there and locks back in place. Uh, on the other hand, if you wrench it forward, it's most assuredly going to break your spring. And I don't know the purpose of this other than to maybe hold this a little bit uh, kind of forward. I don't know. It seems to be doing okay anyway. There's another spring inside of here. The difficult part is this pin, and it has to be, uh, you know, inside of that ratcheting mechanism, and then avoid the spring that's internal here also. But um, it does actually work. The brake will engage there, and then back and, uh, and disengage there, and that is uh, is going to work. So that that's the difference, I guess, between the the 272 and the 281, um, the clutch um, and the you know sprocket drum is just a little bit smaller on the 272 versus 281. But yeah, that that was kind of the hardest part getting that lined up through that little assembly. But it looks like it's all back together and it should work. Let's fire the saw up with the repaired brake and, and see if it works. All right, so before we wrap up here, I wanted to show you um, this spring and kind of the difficulty of getting that pin in there and, and all that stuff. You know, so this spring is gonna be sitting inside of this piece, right? And it's gonna be hanging up here somewhere. I think the problem I was having was trying to get the pin like through the uh, actual brake part and into this area between this spring and there. Um, and then when you like can't get it in there, it's like, well, let me roll it forward and then it just breaks it right off. So don't do that. Don't roll it forward. It'll break it right off. So maybe, um, I, I think the process that you want to do there is to leave this off, right? The, the spring part in here, it actually is that easy to get it to set. Uh, you just set it in there with it in the up position like this or the braked position where it's like it is here and then put that pin in there put uh, these little keepers and you know tie the brake into this system without this piece and then uh, break it and this will go back down in there and then come back off with the brake lever and take it back off and then put this in there and then reassemble it that way I think that's the best chance you have of not damaging this piece during that assembly process so there's the assembly process. All right, let's see if it works. Um, so I've got the 281. Man, I tell you what, I can see why a lot of people don't like super high compression because this thing is a bear. I warmed it up um, and it's like... <laughs> it's, it's the most powerful like fast as saw that 80 cc shootout man this thing it brought such a big smile to my face like i was just i i was <laughs> i i was just like okay going through the motions and then put this th <laughs> this in the wood and it was like just it, it stole the show you know so check that video out if you haven't seen it but uh, let's see if we can get this started and just show you the brake it does actually work here it was warm so let's Not leaking any gas though that uh, JB weld repair right under here held up pretty well so if you're looking to repair your gas tank I've done that on car gas tanks matter of fact you get four wheeling and, and get a rock jammed up into your gas tank and start spilling gas and <sighs> yeah boat tank at home and then JB weld over it and you're good to go been there but that works for that um, brake fixed 
Hope you guys enjoyed this one. That's going to do it for today on Man Time. Get out there. Have you some man time too.